Hello, good morning. My name is Dilip Thakur. I'm the editor of Education World. If you don't know that the Indian education system from kindergarten to PhD is broken, you have been sleepwalking through life or living on another planet. Year after year, the annual status of education report published by the Bombay and Delhi based highly respected NGO, Pratham Education Foundation, has been telling us that class 7 children can't read class 3 textbooks and that they can't do the simplest sums uh, in arithmetic or in, uh, arithmetic sums, division, multiplication, etc. In secondary education, in 2010, we sent a team of students to write the PISA, that is, Program for International Student Assessment, which is an examination of OECD countries for 15-year-old children. Out of the 74 student teams from country, uh, 74 countries, Indian students came 73. And they were tested for mathematics, English, and science, English or French and science. In higher education, not even one of our 800 universities, some of them 150 years old, are ranked among the top 250 universities of the world. In education world, we are very concerned about India's broken education system. And that's because we believe that unless we fixed fix the education system, all the grandiose plans of government and all the political parties are going to fail. Therefore, in education world, it, therefore, in education world's March cover story, we have interviewed 40 principals, vice chancellors, and education leaders to identify the major pain points of the Indian education system and to suggest ways and means how to address them and to suggest reforms. Education is too important to be left to the Neta Bra Babu Brotherhood, that is politicians and bureaucrats. All of us who have had the benefit of an education in the intelligence here and the middle class need to get involved and join the debate on ways and means to fix India's broken education system. Because if we don't, and don't do this urgently, our children face a very dismal and bleak future.